So we'll move from there to the main event. Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens, inside Hell in a Cell. So they added the stipulation last night. For whatever reason, but they did. It's Falls Count Anywhere. Pretty much defeating the purpose of this cell. So I guess they can leave the cell. I mean, in, in past years, in past cell matches, you had to pin your opponent inside the cell. Um, but now, I mean, it would be one thing if they, if they could pin them their opponent on at ringside, like inside the cell, but, you know, next to the ring or whatever. And also on top of the cell. But it's made, they made it sound like the fight's going to go all around the arena, which completely defeats the purpose of the structure to begin with, which wouldn't be the first time if they've had people interfere as, you know, as, you know, as early as last year. They just did it as latest as last year. They had uh, Chris Jericho interfere in Hell in a Cell. They do it all the time. It completely, you know, uh, waters down the structure, but it is what it is. But uh, the fact of the matter is that aside, the match itself, the feud, has been great, has been the most important thing on the show. Um, both guys have played their roles wonderfully. Kevin Owens has been uh -huh. a great, aggressive, dominant heel. Shane is the perfect babyface for fans to rally behind. Everything about this has been awesome. I'm glad it should be main eventing the show. Um, it should be a great match. The thing is, Shane has yet to win a one-on-one -on -one match since returning to the company. He lost to AJ at WrestleMania, and he lost to WrestleMania the year prior to, uh, to uh, The Undertaker. So he has yet to win a match. I mean, I think he technically won the Survivor Series match last year that he was a part of, but... He doesn't have many wins under his belt. That's not to say that he should win here. That just makes me think there's a chance he might. It wouldn't kill Kevin Owens, but it just makes no sense to put a 45, 50-year-old out-of-shape Shane McMahon over Kevin Owens in the main event of a WWE pay-per-view in 2017. Again, it would make it just as much sense as having Jinder beat Nakamura, but which is exactly why they might do it. Um, but I, I'm looking forward to the match. I just, I, I think there might be a chance that Shane wins. I'm going to stick with KO though. So how have you felt on this feud, Spencer? And who do you think walks away the victor here? You know, I am excited about this match. Uh, it has been one of the better feuds this year, even, um, Kevin Owens playing the maniacal heel. Um, you know, I loved using Vince McMahon as a pawn. I loved using Sami Zayn as a pawn in this feud. It has worked out really well for them. Um, the, the false count anywhere, stipulation is puzzling to me, but it makes me think one or two things will happen. Either that stipulation will ultimately be meaningless and they will get pinned inside the ring, mm -hmm. or they're going to get pinned on top of the cell. Mm -hmm. That's that's my only two thoughts. Um, you know, I don't, I don't expect Shane to jump off the cell again. You know, after you do it once, it's kind of, <laughs> it's, it's happened, you know. Um, I don't expect that to happen, uh, but I do expect them to get on top of the cell and maybe that's where the match ends. Um, as far as a winner is concerned, I had the same thought that Shane McMahon has not won a match since his return, and if you plan on using Shane McMahon in the future, it's almost like he's going to need a win to seem like a credible opponent against someone. Um, but that should not be at Kevin Owens' expense. He has been incredible in this role. Uh, you know, I love I love putting a suit on Kevin Owens and having him be as evil as he ever has been. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, and especially if you know, eventually this goes down to Kevin Owens Triple H, which is a, a very possible option. Um, Kevin Owens winning here makes the most sense, whether that's the eventual outcome or just in general to keep Kevin Owens as strong as he is. Kevin Owens winning in what could be a brutal, brutal match, uh, at least by today's standards, I think would be the best bet here. And I know Shane McMahon is, you know, he's, he's, he's Shane McMahon. He's a 45, 50-year-old, out-of-shape guy. But this should be the WWE Championship match on the show. This feels important. KO is the best heel by far on the entire brand at the moment. So this feels like a main event-worthy championship match. And it's going to be the main event regardless. There's no doubt about that in my mind. But um, it should be for the title because Kevin Owens is the best thing going on the show at the moment. But it isn't. Um, I would say exactly what you said. To, in order to keep the momentum going for Kevin Owens, I would have him go over here. And I do like the ultimate goal of having him face Triple H at WrestleMania. Now, maybe he loses that match because Sheen has been suffering. I mean, Triple H is a different story, but Triple H lost to Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns in back-to-back -back years of WrestleMania. Whether he loses for a third straight time, I feel like is unlikely. You never know. Um, but I would much rather be okay with Triple H beating Kevin Owens than Shane McMahon beating Kevin Owens. But in order to even get to that point, you got to have Kevin Owens win here. Maybe you write Shane off a of TV for a couple of weeks to keep Daniel Bryan as the on-air authority figure. And maybe somehow that leads into, like you said, Triple H or Stephanie coming over to SmackDown. And um, that kind of setting the stage for that feud in the coming future, in the coming months and whatnot. 